Posey Parker may be gone, but why her visit's just one piece of a bigger picture. Heart surgery patients caught in delays and how national plan to better fund the Sallies. At Maria, I'm Sheree Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Posey Parker may have fled New Zealand, but it's believed the issues brought to the forefront by her arrival will continue to linger. The anti-trans speaker's Auckland event on Saturday saw scuffles break out, tomato juice poured on her and Greens co-leader Marama Davidson hit by a motorcycle. Parker was then escorted away by police, canning her planned Wellington appearance and flying out of the country. But Massey University's Paul Spoonley says Parker's visit is just one piece of a bigger picture. He says there's a sense that diversity is being condemned by some people in the political spectrum. I think it's going to be one of those debates that carries on through this year and election year. And it's going to be interesting to see how it plays out. Some Waikato Hospital cardiac surgery patients are being caught in delays with an investigation underway after a person died on the wait list last year. Figures show the most urgent group of cases, those needing surgery within 72 hours, are being treated quickly. But the rest faced major backlogs, including 70% of patients who should be treated within 10 days. Meanwhile, an investigation is underway into an unexpected death in October involving a person on the wait list. They should have had surgery within 90 days, but had been waiting for 115. More Kiwis are using the Ministry of Social Development's dental grant following the first increase to the payment in 25 years. In December, the annual amount jumped from $300 to $1,000, fulfilling one of Labor's 2017 commitments. Nearly $15 million have been paid out since then for people on low incomes and benefits. That's up $2.8 million from the same period the year prior. The Dental Association says it's great to see more people in need accessing care, but the huge uptake highlights the level of need in the community. The Salvation Army can look forward to more support from the government if National wins the election. That's according to housing spokesperson Chris Bishop, who says the Sallies do a better job of providing wraparound services and community housing than the government itself. It comes as our newsroom reveals government funding to the Sallies has increased from $19 million in 2019 to almost $30 million last year. Bishop says National will go even further. They are generally more nimble, they have better relationships with their tenants than Kyan or Aura does, so we would be looking to expand the role of the community housing sector in groups like the Salvation Army. And a new court decision may allow Pike River families to access documents that led to the coal mine company's CEO, Peter Whittle, avoiding prosecution. The High Court's decision comes nearly a decade on as the families of the 29 men killed in the disaster continue to seek justice. A judgment obtained by One News says transparency matters in the interests of justice. In 2013, all 12 charges laid against Whittle were dropped. Instead, a $3.4 million voluntary payment went to the families. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.